Hey, you dicks. Welcome back to the Defenders of Cobalt. This is uh, Season Nipple, Episode Chair. Yep. Last episode, we left off. You fuckers were in the bottom of the market. What we done there? Nate, you reading an update on what we're doing? I'm waiting for the next question. You should, well, I'm giving it. Here it is. We did shit. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so you... We bought what the All right. fuck, Chuck? <laughs> you. I am mighty. <laughs> I hit yeah. on a feisty Duergar lady. You, you hit on a feisty Duergar lady. You guys were in the market. You bought some shit, and you're ready to delve down. Yeah, we took a nap, too. You took a nap, and it was great. Well, uh, a, but yeah, we spent the night at an inn. You spent the night at a Duergar inn. Uh, I forget the name of which one it was. Uh, but I think Parnell's got the paperwork and might be able to see which one it was. Uh, you guys now have essentially, if you're wanting, <laughs> if you're wanting to delve deeper into, it's like pink head in worst caniculum yeah. I've ever seen. To delve deeper into the caniculum in hopes of discovering the Narada and whatever the fuck it is, you have three choices essentially to go with. If you're going off of the map that the red eye gave you, just that one. So your three choices are. Uh, you could delve into section 6A, which is home of Clem, the Beholder. Oh, yeah. You could delve into section 6B, which is a, you found out, a trading outpost for the Narag. Or you could go straight down the center and hop down to section C, which is a drow controlled trading post. Is that where the Shrine of the Silver Monkey is? No. I'm sorry. Um, what, what, yes. Le Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. The drow sounds The dangerous. only if you can get by the Temple Guardians. Because yeah. those dangerous. fuckers are scary. Fun we need some medallions, dangerous. people. Right. Yeah, we need the medallions. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a half a medallion here. <laughs> We're all gonna die. All right, so yeah. we're the purple parents. I guess I am at a point where I need consensus from you guys. Well, and I have five tribes that we need to give the thing. Shh. Sorry. Oh, you're actually asking yeah. a question. Yeah. yeah. What are the five I tribes you're talking we need shit? To it's so rare. We need to plant uh, dead things in. Yeah. You need to plant dead things on the market. Oh, we should do that while we're here then. Yeah, we have to have something dead to put here. Clem's we make area. It the Nadrogs area and the Drow. Oh, we got so it's the there's do. four areas. Then. Yeah, the spot you're in, and then the three options you have to get down. Each one of them needs a corpse with a little yellow slug attached to it. So we just need to create a corpse and put a little yellow slug on it. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to say we should go back up a floor, make some dead orcs. Put them in the bag of holding and then just drop them on each of the floors. That is you know, certainly that's a good idea. An option. I was wanting to kill things on these floors, but you, you might just. Well, I, I really only want to go through one of them instead of all of them. I have gotten a compliment on our audio for tonight. Hooray! So big nice. thanks to Joe, our player in Alex's game, who provided us this sweet equipment. And I did do some fucking around torques with it beforehand because there were some things I wasn't super happy with last week. But they were fixed them. I hope we fixed them. It sounded like we all had colds. Did you listen to the audio? <laughs> yeah, everything was quiet, which was one thing. But then oh, was the, we all had colds. Our base, the sound <laughs> suppression <laughs> thing had was had to be too aggressive mm -hmm. to get it, so it cut out the low end on all our voices. Mm -hmm. So I went into the mix and I dumped it through the little built-in real bass ass equalizer, and I just turned up the bass. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick listen while you guys discuss which path you wanna, what your next you steps are. Boosted? All completely ended it already, by the way. I think if we would be benefited to go make corpses on the floor that already hates us. Yeah. Instead of go make corpses on the floor that doesn't. So we, so we or, just sort of assumed that we were supposed to create our corpses of the things because we want them to be functional spies. That's what I was going to say. I think the idea is to put them in the corpses of those people. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't I don't remember if he specified that they had to be those people, though, so we could he, just go get he some more. So... I mean, it's technically correct. I'm speaking as Leo. I would be saying, I'm pretty sure he wants us to get the actual races. Like, 
Well, there's no particular race on the market. I don't want to kill anybody here. Well, I, I'm, that that would be fine for this place. Yeah. But I assume the other places he would want. We don't really know what lives on Clem's floor. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. I think he has the right idea. As much as it would be, just be easy to kill four orcs. And... He didn't say the job would be easy. Okay. But Clem is the beholder. He also didn't say... He has all his beholder buddies. What exactly we had to do here either. This, um... Mm-hmm. He also didn't specify what corpse needed to be here. No, once again, I'm not saying he specified. I'm saying it would make the most sense. Speaking of who specified... Who specified? Like, like... A- and why? Like, say I went and was like, oh, I'm gonna cook you dinner. And if the I fried up a turd, you'd eye. be like, oh, yeah, I guess I didn't specify what I wanted. The <laughs> red eye dude <laughs> yeah. said that we have to put spies among all of these people. And he, if so, he tells us everything he knows about the location of the something or other. How to get down. Oh, how to get down. And might I say, it's a little, how to get up and get down. the audio is a little tin canny, but it's, I don't know the software well enough, so I'm sure Joe can fix it next mm-hmm. session. I have a beer. I want that beer in my face. Oh, man. Never mind. You guys keep talking. So... I don't know why. All right. I don't know why. (laughs) I can't find my notes anymore. Anyway. Red Eye says he'll give us information if we do this for him. Mm -hmm. And that map doesn't reveal that? Reveal what? Mm -hmm. How to get down. No, it tells us how to get it down. It does. How to get He's given you the information you need to complete your quest. It's an honor pact. Like, you know, I give you what you need on the promise that you will complete it. He's not holding it over your head. A gentleman's agreement, I yeah. guess, is the best way to put it. Like, Leo would, um... Yeah, Leo would pull you aside, and he'd be like, my issue is, I want to be in good favor. Because I don't know we'll get what we need out of here immediately out. So I don't want to be like, oh, we got the ship, we got to lock down, we got to go back, come back, and he's just, you know, got a hundred orcs, and he's just naked, and he's like fighting them. And I'm like, I don't want to fight a naked dude, and he has orcs. One or the other. Tell me I'm wrong. We need to shift down. Um, I worry about one naked dude in an army versus four armies. Actually, you know what we can do? I got an idea. I feel like you have our back then at that point. That's still not a very very balanced fight. I'm I'm down with making friends. They're looking right at my crotch. There's no real harm in making friends. Well, yes, there is, but no, (laughs) especially when the friend is plainly evil. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how. Well, and this guy is unapologetically evil. Like, he wasn't even pretending like he wasn't. My character's not exactly evil. Well, this guy was played by Tim Curry. (laughs) You know what? He wasn't in my head, but he is now. Thank you for that, Jake. (laughs) You know what's sad? I know I wasn't thinking that, but I feel like I was this whole time. It it, it was a subconscious thing. Dripping, oozing, suave, charismatic evil. (laughs) Tim Curry, yeah. (laughs) Ashley will be fucking thrilled to hear that because she's a huge Tim Curry fan. That pretty much sells it, yeah. We're working for Tim Curry. But would you cut a deal with him? If he were twirling his mustache. Yes. Yeah. Out of, out of terror. That, <laughs> do you want I to be on not. Tim Curry's bad side? Because I don't want to be on Tim Curry's bad side. All I'm concerned is, would Tim Curry... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tim Curry's like Steph Curry, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, would he would he help us or stop right, us from getting our goods if he was in good favor? I don't think he'd stop us, and I think he would possibly help us. Hmm. I don't think the drought would do that. <laughs> don't think the horse would really it's, do that. It's balancing act for good. Mm-hmm. Negating him from the conversation is that worth it? I think I think the red eye scares me as a person more than drows or beholders or the other things. Mm-hmm. And to give we, him a decided advantage over literally everything else in between our objective and the surface. Right. If we have him well, on the... They the, technically all are. If we have him on our side and he has spies within all of the other groups, if... Right. Did you come back already? Huh? It's 54. 
<clears throat> no, I gotta go up in just a minute. Oh, I thought you said it. 45. No, we started our conversation. I have to go do some work. <laughs> no, I gotta go <laughs> My bad. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm down with helping. I mean, we still gotta find a Would he be down with helping you beyond the terms of the deal? Oh, that's right, because you don't fucking know the red eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely don't. Well, you, you've you never been in a game with the red eye was there, and Jake's character died who knew the red eye and came back. He's a character who's never met the red eye. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I, I'm not opposed to helping him, just once I, the, the method in which we do it. Once I, and by I, I mean all of us, get what I, and by all of I, I mean all of us, Get what I want. Uh, I don't plan on coming back here. I mean, right. I just need him. But you do plan on leaving. Yeah, I and get through that. his territory, and that's the guy that I would be most after afraid. his deal is done with you. That would be the guy I'd be most afraid of stopping me right now. I have a suspicion we're going to be coming through here more than once. I'd rather have him in my pocket every time we're here. Either way, I think I would rather have him in our pocket than worry about drow or beholders. Or the idea that he would be in your pocket is absurd. Oh, yeah. I was, we can reverse it. I'd rather be in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things you could say to Asberth to make him feel better about this, that was not fucking it. I know. <laughs> Don't really care. As long as I get what we... Want my man under I'm my will- our pos- possession? I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm willing to help you. Mm-hmm. I'm not ah. willing to help him. What okay. if helping him helps me? What if it doesn't? I'm okay with. That. Here's another question: mm-hmm. What the outcomes? I guess you have to weigh the outcomes. What are what's the benefit of helping him versus not helping him? Because you don't know his end goal, just that he wants spies. Mm -hmm. So is him having spies in this place full of evil creatures, having spies amongst evil creatures in a place full of evil creatures, is that so bad in the grand scheme of things? Yes. Okay. (laughs) I I completely disagree. I I had that sentence going, and then I like, I know Jake's answer. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's bad. Uh, yeah. Would it really be so bad as to have a worst guy here? Yes. <laughs> that, Maybe he's the best was, guy. Maybe he's trying to turn them not evil. You ever think about that, mm, man? No. I don't even care about that. I, no. I just want to get my stuff. In. Well, I'll play it your way. Mm-hmm. I'll play it your way. I think the shortest But if this backfires on us, I'm coming for you. Oh. I, I think the, oh. also, the shortest way to get our stuff and leave is to not have to delve into all four of these fours. And I don't think he gave you a time limit either. He didn't give us a time limit. He didn't say what had to be there. It's not like things don't traverse the floors already. I mean, we've seen all manner of creatures coming and going. And to that remark, I assume that you said to my character. Oh, yes. He'd walk up to you, pat you on the shoulder, and say, don't worry. I have a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen it in action, so now suddenly I'm not worried. Oh, <laughs> god damn. God damn. <laughs> Fucking shit. Escalations mm-hmm. on escalations. I have to yeah. run real quick. All right. I should be back. Tomorrow. I have to. Uh, can't promise agree. they'll be alive when you come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to somewhat agree with our paladin friend here. Um, this one or that one? We we go along with this plan right now. Well, okay. I'm okay. I'm gonna I just talk can't. about you. Don't say anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I say, um, we go along with it for now, but if it turns out he has uh, evil intentions, we torture him until he passes out, and then we kill him. <clears throat> Man, you guys, doesn't seem very paladin. you guys are so good. Oh, he's not a paladin. I'm not a paladin. He doesn't seem very nice. Uh, he didn't say he was nice. Course. I would like to... The wicked don't deserve the attention of the nice. What? <laughs> that was the least done thing I've ever heard. Does, does he know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he tried. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're playing footsie with me, Tyler. Oh, my lantern. 
<laughs> All right, guys. So, I think it's decision time. We're doing some reconnaissance of our own. We head down to each level, see if there are any orcs on each level. And we head back up. And we have our spies already ready. Are you ready Hmm? Yeah. Already ready already? Yeah. Already? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. right, right. Going to learn today. <laughs> Matthew learn McConaughey the people gets older. Like today. <laughs> they stay the same age. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible person. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about his character. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we just all lost right. a follower. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> fuck you! I love Matthew McConaughey. I was saying it was Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> fuck you! I am Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I was gonna have a luxury car call deal with you guys. <laughs> Sponsored by Lincoln. Yeah, because you're always paying me the most of the time. He is a pretty great actor, though. Why are you telling he, lies? He, so- he sounds like he cares what? about Why what are car you he telling drives. Lies? He's not a great actor. He's not. He's the shitty person's Harrelson. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson is a great fucking actor. Well, I'll tell you this much. That's true. Woody Harrelson is a great movie star. Matthew McConaughey is an actor. He is technically <laughs> an actor. Yeah, of all the actors I've heard of, he is certainly one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just easy to get feelings out of, but I totally felt it when, like, he fucking... <laughs> it's okay, we did it. Whatever, Chuck. <laughs> in that one thing, he was clearly... <laughs> we we get it, important. Chris. You like seeing him shirtless and oiled up. When did that... He wasn't in Bronson. <laughs> oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> no, Interstellar. When he finds out his daughter <laughs> is, like, 20 years old. A four-hour movie, and we get three minutes of emotion, and you think it's good? I thought that was good. Yeah. It was a lot of emotion in three minutes, okay? Look, look. Mm-hmm. You can't well, admit it. I shed a tear. You can't. I didn't. I was sad when that fucking, like, Jack... Uh, what's the game with the, the balls and the jacks? Jacks? No, I fucking love the robots in that. Jacks? Is that it? Yeah, like the fucking Jacks robots that like speed ran. Did you really just do that? Yeah. There's a name Whoa. for that game. Maybe it's just Jacks. <laughs> it was, it's just Jacks. Okay. It was so because I looked at you guys and I'm like, are we all thinking that he's thinking of Jacks? But we're so thrown off that he <laughs> said like, Jacks that if, we don't want to say Jacks. If you're doing like you know the balls what? and the little. Uh, the, 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 okay, fine. <laughs> But he's like, the balls and the jacks. That's what I knew the, the jacks were called the jacks, but I didn't, I for some odd reason, I spaced if the game had a greater name than just one component. But now that I think about it, most games work what's, like what that. But what's that's... that game that people play with all those poker cards? <laughs> <laughs> what's that game they play? You know, the one with the basketball. <laughs> Water polo. Water polo. Ooh, that's a game that's not oh, hey, named after. That's a good point. What's that game they play, you know, the one with the soccer ball? Well, yeah. When I was little, I was like, what the is dumb? That that's called running. football. And now I'm like, holy oh, shit. <laughs> the shape that those people are in. So... To play the dumbest world. No. no the what do you call jumping jacks? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get off of that for a second. Uh, I I want to put a thought out there, but I have a feeling you guys are all about to disappoint me. So, how much do you guys love Doja Cat and her new song, Moo? I, I, was, I was down with that. Fuck yeah. yeah Good. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. man. It's, it's actually fucking... pretty good. Um, okay, you were hating on it. Tuesday. God, you guys, go look up followers. I told them Doja they were going to love it. Moo. It may have sounded sarcastic, I'm gonna but share it. it was. YouTube. <laughs> it's in my fucking, because she's going to, like, okay, she's going to blow the fuck up. Like, have you listened to her other shit? No. Oh, it's fucking great. I haven't really, I've, there's been selected music I already need to listen to, so. I'll be honest, I, I don't think the song that. itself is bad, just the music video is too over the top. The music video yes. is aggressively low budget, and it's fucking great. Was, and that's the, one of the styles currently of hip-hop videos. I guess. Too much. Alright, Twitch oh, people. I just don't get it. There's that no, Doja Cat music video. Hopefully it didn't fucking delete it out. No, it's like it's there. Listen to this shit. I'm gonna risk losing some audio over this. It's worth it. 
Let's go back. Let's unmute. That's so great. If you could see the video, it just drives it over the top. It's just. It sounds like an adult swim stinger. Yeah. It seems like you're on the show. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Oh. Because she's got big boobs. Yeah. This is Chugga. This no. is not Chugga. This no. is fucking great. I don't believe she thinks she's serious. No, this is not a serious thing. <laughs> she, I was, That's what scares me about Chugga. Yeah, he. Yeah, no, I was watching some Chugga shit. Chugga thinks he's right legit. It's like, they just like this popular music right now. That's why I can't make it anywhere. <laughs> no, I was l- looking up some shit on her. Like, and, like, she wrote the song in, like, four hours. <laughs> Obviously. You she, know, look up Chugga. See what he's up to. No, no, no. no. Not his music. No. no. I don't even want that. I don't even <laughs> need that. She shot what the video it? in, like, six hours. Hours. But it's apparently she just ordered some uh some like Uber McDonald's and she's like, you know what, I need to write a song about this. Yeah. So there's <laughs> bitch I'm a king. <laughs> it's fucking great. Mm-hmm. That is a word to describe it. Me. Is that Chugo? Mm-hmm. You it. should uh you should check out her song uh, Go to Town. It's great. It's it's about Eating pussy, and that's that's yeah. the only thing you can put about it. it it's it's absolutely fantastic. I don't even get told me that time. <laughs> well, we just posted my jam. Oh, that's Ashley. She oh, okay. loves that song, which is great because that song's you know I it could imagine I it is a song that I could imagine getting annoying. I've Ashley and I have listened to it so much, and it hasn't gotten annoying whatsoever yet. But the nice thing, since Ashley likes it, if it gets to that annoying point, I can still keep going because she's like, I fucking like it. Mm-hmm. Not like the other stupid shit I get into and just beat the shit over the head with a branch from a tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Does it I'm hurt good. you when you go to your childhood? A branch like from a corporation? Branch <laughs> <laughs> from a corporation. Come here, Sprint. I need your marketing branch. I have to beat this person. A bunch of people in loafers and three piece suits just come and tear this shit out of it. Whoa. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, you should definitely watch our Dan That's needs to hurry up. up. So, so hardcore Henry. Huh? It's what? filmed entirely in first person. I heard it makes people sick. It can. I can understand that. That's just like weird Russian. It's movie. it's based in Ru- in Russia, but they're speaking like random past buyers are gonna be speaking Russian, but everybody they work with is you know. And I think it might be time travel related or something. No. What's up with the scientist that comes back as a different character? All the time. That's Quantum Leap. Yeah. Mm, uh, fucking goddamn it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it because you guys are uh, going to watch it. So. All right. So we're going to move on a little bit without Chris. So what, you guys, what's your thoughts on your next direction? Uh, while those two are gone, I see that we go ahead and do it in the red. Uh, Dead Redemption said we should do. Yeah. I, I, don't mind, I don't mind you with doing what Red Dead Redemption wants us to Red do. Dead Redemption. How do you think you're going to go about accomplishing that? Are you just going to go to each level and just kill something? I'm going down below and killing Bigfoot. Let's do it. All right. Red Dead Redemption. Let's go. Or uh, are you going to... Uh... I think this is one of those things where we could do it to the letter, but we should probably do it more towards the spirit of what he wanted us to do. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to collect some work bodies, I, I, I'm not saying it won't be a bad idea, but if we get the chance to... And you know what? So I would at least like to see whether they are orcs down there first. Yes. Well, I mean, yes, that's an idea, and if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Another yes. thought on that, too, is collecting orcs just because is never a bad idea, because you can always turn those orcs into gold, even if you don't need their corpses. Right. So... You want to do a little advanced scouting while we're waiting on those two? Yeah. Where do you want to go? He's got the the map. That's not the map you want, though. Well, you can go either or, because here this one shows 
the look kind of the general locations of the pass oh, down, the the and then that shows the the entirety of the caniculum. I really, when I was making up this place, I really, it took me a long time to finally accept the name the caniculum. Because, you know, like all great things, you just do Latin shit and kind of mess around with it till it comes out great. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, that just sounds too much like cum licking. And I'm like, I don't know if only I want to... you thought that. I really think only you thought that. I, I, I never okay. got there. Okay. Do we have any feathers? Maybe I just think too much about cum licking. I think once, usually. Yeah. <laughs> once <laughs> once is, is too, too much. much. Yeah. <laughs> If you're just doing homework and you're like, come with me. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Salty. Yeah. Feathers would help us with Clem, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I don't, I don't know. Well, somebody's got to be watching out for this shit, right? <laughs> How many followers have we lost since I talked about nut licking? Twelve. Twelve. What are we at, like 75 or something? We're at 84 right now. Wow. We picked up a lot on NetHack Night. So We also banned a lot of motherfuckers on NetHack Night. To be fair, it was probably the same person. like Probably like the same times. two people, like four times. We could have cleansed. Because um, I tell like he just wants a spy in that territory. And Clem has slings. Clem ha- yeah, that's so a good point. just have to just... Make one of those slaves disappear, put a worm in his face. That's a good point. Let's go there, then. You gonna head down to Clem's? Let's go fight some... Or do you guys agree with that? So you're turning a slave into a spy? Yeah. After killing him? Yeah. (laughs) You buy him books, and you buy him books, and all they do is look at the covers. What if it's a goblin? Yeah. What if it's a goblin? Then they're not even people. I'm surprised you see anyone as people. To be honest, no, I see really? people as people, but not. People. I mean, hey, we're talking about goblins. The fuck's the bottle opener? Could you pass the tacos, please? Could you pass the tacos, please? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it's like I was playing that game. So, in yeah, jacks. we were talking about who are people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, like I said, what if it's a goblin? Like, who cares? What if it's, a, you know, a poor person? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Just a goblin in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what if he Please, has, like, sir, four can legs? I have some change? <laughs> Boom! Can you break a 45? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking gold right there. Oh, and we're banned! <laughs> yeah, the end. <laughs> that's weird, <isn't> it? <laughs> To be fair, I, I was mentioning goblins, not poor people. Yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm too smooth. If Norman Osborn came in here right now, <laughs> you'd probably think it's a good idea to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, down, no, go, I, down. go down there, grab one slaves. They probably want to be put out there. Come through this terrible decision. Uh, they're almost there. We took a little bit of a break for Doja Cat. Okay. Did that just say hell? Yeah. Bitch, I'm a cow. Oh, oh, Bitch, I'm a cow. A hellus? I am not a cat. I don't say meow. He's just gonna drink some hell. Mm hmm. Now that's why I was lost. It seems fitting. <laughs> I was sitting on my <laughs> shoes. Situation. You know what then we later, should do? If your toilet's clogged, you'll be raising hell. I should that's have right. Ashley see if she can hit Doja Cat up on like Instagram. See if we can get permission to use Moo as our like outro song. <laughs> yes. Actually, if we could use one of her songs, I would totally use Go to Town, because it's more appropriate, I think. I thought... Uh... <laughs> what? We're going to get sponsored by Doja Cat. All right. Doja Cat. I'm a little less beer. Which one is that first one you had? A little less mentally distracted. Vanilla cream. Can I have one of those? Can I have a root beer? Oh, I thought you were gonna throw it at him. I got scared too. I was like, oh, I'm glad Things I were about it. to get really exciting. <laughs> All right, hurry up and sit down. We gotta do shit. Uh, let's fucking do it. Bananas!
Lizzie Bravo Magnon. Nope. Rectum. Rectum. So in short, yes, I have a problem with that. Oh, that? And no. <laughs> Your idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what's, what's the idea? Okay. We're taking slaves and turning them into spies. First, so Just one. It took me a while in the bathroom because I was getting rid of a spider. Oh, yeah, they do that. Because Only one? I say getting rid of because he was already dead. I didn't have to kill him. Oh. But he was creeping me out because he was under your toilet and he was like the size of a half dollar. Jeez. Oh. I kind of wish I could have seen that. Yeah. It was like a brown eclipse, too. Lovely. I was like, like no. got a little bit of toilet paper, and I was like, <laughs> you know. And he just like went like this. The only, <laughs> the only was, sure was like, way uh, to safely kill a spider from a distance, right. it, was down. it was semen. Oh, okay. I didn't know the answer. You, you should have just skeeted at it. <laughs> That's not something you should ever. They make their houses out of skeet. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's nasty. It's supposed to be spider proof. Yeah. <laughs> it's to keep the other spiders Strangely out. Strangely enough. You do that, you gave them a mansion. What are you doing? The butt of the spider was enormous. So it was as if he died from constipation and he was under the toilet. <laughs> Boy, he almost made it. He's trying. <laughs> okay, so let's get back on track. We're going to go turn some slaves into spies. No, we're not. Yes. You you just been silent. You don't have to kill anybody. You can just stay up here, go to the shop, hang out at the bar. We'll take care of the dirty work. You should pretend like nothing happened. Keep the Brucey's hole for the boys. Yeah. Cause with the boys. <laughs> I'm a cow. I'm a cow. I'm not a cow. With the boys. I don't say meow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So where are you going? I was thinking either uh, um, chemistries or uh, the drow place. Let's just look for the orcs. If only I had minor illusion. You're okay with that? So you're going back into that shop. He is, no, well, I mean, we'll look for orcs on the levels below yeah, us. Yeah, he wants to go down to these three individual levels. See if orcs are native there or, like, found there. Yeah. And if they are, then you guys go back up, you kill a number of orcs, and then you deposit an orc in each spot. That sounds somewhat fair. All right, so which place are you going or first? Can we just ask somebody if they know? <laughs> nah. Who would you like to be a spy for the red eye? No, no? I mean, good do day. You, do you know if you can find orcs on any of these orcs? <laughs> We're looking for. Well, them. you are on the market, which no, is one of good them. Good day. Uh, That's true. We still and you have them. found orcs here. Leo's response is heavy well. I almost got <laughs> you from asking. Good day, Jeff. <laughs> Go for it. Mayhaps it is about time for me to masticate. Are we still in our... <laughs> <laughs> we I'm going to get banned for making that hand motion. All right. <laughs> okay. We're still I'm in still the inn. very scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are still in the inn. You There's have not like moved. Words for everything. Okay, well, I might go find maybe the innkeeper or somebody and just ask him then. Okay. Know. Uh, what inn were you in? Um, I thought I wasn't sure if we were at the bugbear. Or at the Durgar one. Because the Durgar Dur bugbear. I, I think it's the bugbear. Because the thing with the Durgar one is it's, it's a barrack style. And I it's don't think barrack like style. It's like a hostel. So I don't want anybody looking in my bag of holding. Oh. Yeah. So I think, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think we actually went to the. Oh, 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 oh your bug holding. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> meow, 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 Strangers meow, rooting around my prison bag. Meow. <laughs> meow. I think that we ended up going to the bugbear one. So All right, so you were at privacy. the bugbear's bet. Fucking goddamn piece of shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. It was a big sign. Uh, you go up to the the bar at the bugbear's inn, and it's a big old muscular hobgoblin like cleaning a, a glass behind the counter, Did you want and he up? calls out in undercommon. Uh, Is he more muscular than Pikachu? <coughs> Fevrig? Fevrig? Uh, yeah, Fevrig, he's a nerdy hobgoblin. Oh. <laughs> nerd. It's because you're wizardly. What's Fucking your strength nerd. score? That may be incorrect because I don't know your strength score. My strength is a 
Forty fourteen. There you go. Okay, so yeah, you're 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 pretty muscular, but this dude's definitely muscular er er than you. With sauce on a crust would be best. Is he muscular or you pizza, than right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sauce, crust. So we all want pizza. Oh. I do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Most definitely. You guys wanna know something that sucks? What's that? <clears throat> In my old age, my lactose intolerance has greatly amplified itself. I can't eat cereal anymore. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, no. I've completely switched over, almost completely switched over, because I'm not going to be switched over for pizza, because that's impossible, to soy. Wow. It's, uh, it's pretty good. You get that soy yogurt, like the vanilla soy from Silk. Mm-hmm. That's fucking great, man. I don't mind, like, soy milk. If it, uh, I've, I've had a vegan pizza that wasn't the worst thing I've ever tasted. That I don't believe. If uh, it turns out I have IBS, I can't have lactose or soy. Irritable bowel syndrome? Yeah. That's the best. <laughs> I'm there for it. All right. More. <laughs> All right. Now that let's wrap up this conversation about our booty holes. So anyway, we, we were talking about Butts. it's a condition, Chuck. Our booty holes. <laughs> Have some respect. Booty hole. Booty hole. Booty hole. Mood and butt cheeks. Respect for Mood and butt cheeks. I'm not about that <laughs> vanilla, or I'm not about that almond milk. I'm about that soy milk. You know, I, I actually I like almond milk better than soy milk. All right, so almond far almond milk with frosted flakes or just a peanut butter have and jelly cheese. sandwich. <laughs> no, Christ, I like. I'm just saying because I prefer real milk. Though. April said the vanilla almond milk, and I, so far I'm trying things out. I'm about Was that. Was April watching? Yeah, she's yeah. watching. Hi, April. Uh, she says you need to scoot in. <laughs> uh, bananas and cream. So you guys are going to... Oh, you're talking to the, the barkeep. Yeah, sorry. Big old giant fucking... Uh, Type in your address. because I'm Muscular not gonna know hobgoblin. It. Uh, here. Uh, it to me. Calls out an undercommon. Do you speak undercommon? I sure don't, so I'm going to have to rely on somebody else to translate for me. Is I anyone going with him? I'm, I'm I speak all, undercommon. Hobby. So either one of you could go with him and provide translation. Let's go together. We'll have a triversation. Actually, Ooh. since I don't speak undercommon, I speak common elvish giant goblin. I'll go with you. Yeah, I don't think you speak hundred <laughs> Okay, well, you'll speak. The things well, I just said you don't speak hundred I know that's what I just said. Yeah. Well, okay. We're <laughs> we're spinning in circles for no fucking reason. <laughs> All right. So you two both go up because you can speak, speak the native language common. of the hobgoblin, and you can speak under common. The curriculum, the the standard language here is under common, so most people attempt to speak it. So. You walk up to it, and it calls out an undercommon. I'm just ordering what we got last time. What do you want? Oh, what do you want? I I was curious if you're at all familiar with the floors around the market. Are you familiar with the floors around the market? I am familiar enough. The fuck do you want to know about it? The fuck do you want to know about it? (laughs) Just if we can find, uh, if there's floors that we can find orcs on underneath here. Um, are there floors beneath this one with orcs? I orcs is trauma. Fucking Christ, goddamn words. Orcs are common currency around here, so I'm sure you can find them. Okay. Would anyone mind if we genocided them? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will be pretty pissed if you genocided the orcs. Okay, we won't do that. Then we'll just kill a few. <laughs> That's okay. As, as long as I, I don't wish. have to clean it up, I don't give a fuck. Oh, we take care of our own messes. All right, Can we three gold. Them? All right, I'll, if you, I'll give them the gold. Okay, I, I give them gold. Can we hemicide them? I don't translate. Works. Hey, pocket your gold now. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Bless you. All right. All fucking right. <laughs> Orcs, man, they're so angry. Yeah. <laughs> All fucking right. 
I like how he just like shook you down for money, and you're just like, okay. Don't need to make any enemies right now. I don't mind paying for information. I pay only with blood. Blood and sweat. That puts me down to sixteen forty-seven. No, no, that's credit. That's not gold. No, yeah. it's gold. You have sixteen hundred gold. I have twenty-two thousand credit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. We all have gold because we bought rings and shit. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually don't have gold. I don't so, either. I sold my daggers. Good thing you kept. That everyone hated because I kept missing with them. <laughs> so can't say it wasn't justified. <laughs> and I kept, I kept trying to melee someone as a wizard. Not so, only did you keep trying to melee something, you were trying to melee somebody who was already compelled duel. I mean, he was down one that. But I mean, that's true. He didn't know that they were compelled to rule. Well, no. not initially. But... Any which way. I don't think um, my character ever knew. So it sounds like orcs are pretty much like cockroaches. Uh, they're common uh, on every floor. All right. So let's go get us some orcs. Yeah, kill them. <laughs> Put, Deposit them yeah. on the floors below. I think that's going to be... Our fastest way to get out. <laughs> yeah. That's my so, recommendation. You guys heading up? Yep. All right. Let's go find yeah, some more stuff. Whatever. So I guess we'll drain back up to the fourth floor briefly. Okay. Uh, you guys head back to the top of the market, and you head through the floor that leads to the. You head through the fucking goddamn piece of shit. You head to the door that leads to the fourth floor. And you climb up the, you know, the long, narrow, winding, oppressively uh, claustrophobic staircase. Uh, and you take yourself back up into the room that, you know, has the stairs going back down that you're on. And there's a, as you walk up these stairs, there's a door straight ahead um, to the room. room that the big orc dog was in. Fido's room. Fido's room. Uh, well. And then you nearly fucked us up. Yeah. And then after that, it's a room that seems to constantly be full of orcs. So. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that one and then find out what's on the other side of that door they like so much. Yeah. Or we can check and see if any of the corpses are left over from last time. I don't know how no, often. I think they weren't. Well, the second time, I mean. I thought we turned them all into gold already. Yeah, I think you oh, cashed them yeah, all. Oh, Because we, we killed like That's six right. or eight and turned them into gold, so we, we could buy magical shit. That's right. We did everything. Make them into gold. So gold! There won't be any trace of them left behind. I love gold! Okay. So you guys, you head into the room where the big fucking orc dog was that you fought to the death. We should probably proceed cautiously after that. Was uh, what's our time? Um, uh, we're fifty-five in. Uh, okay. We have fifteen minutes left. Oh. Okay. Uh, you guys head through the first room. You open the door to the second room, the big long ass room where you almost died multiple times in. Uh, and there's a room straight ahead. And then there's a room to the right at the far end of the room. This is a long rectangular room. Dim lighting. Yeah, I believe it's the only room that we haven't explored on this floor that we know of. Let's go there. So is there any, is that, there's is nothing that, in this big room? No, currently there's nothing in this big room. Let's go to the side room. Yeah. Uh, is the door shut to the side room? Yes, or? it is. Okay. Oops, second. Here, here's the question. Do we want to make a bunch of noise and break them come to us, or do we want to just go on in there? Yeah, we'll just look around first. I'll defer to somebody else to open the door, then. I guess we could check out a couple of the yeah, other rooms. Yeah, you still haven't figured that out here. yet. My feet are real good at opening doors, but... This, this is where we're at. This is the room of mystery right here. And the, is that the third floor map? That's the fourth floor map, for sure. Oh, we're on the fourth Yeah, floor. this is the fourth floor right here. All so, right. according to this map, we've been everywhere. Well, he only told us the past. Oh, well, that's yeah. right. He only, told yeah. us the he room only room gave you the past. Right. He only told us the rooms that are directly relevant to our direction. Yeah. So he didn't include any additional details. But yeah, there might be a IHOP down here. There could be. Oh I mean, man, 
Just imagine like I wonder how that would go. Like, like IHOP right here. We we get us some ye paint old paint. evil orc IHOP. Yeah. But they have Swedish I. You know what? I've been getting down with the uh, Nutella crepes. Mm. Crepes are delicious. I just never gave him a shot, and then one morning, Corey and I went out to get some IHOP, and uh, she's like, I get the crepes. I'm like, you know what? I'll get some crepes. I got them to tell him once. I'm like, fucking Christ. My papa makes crepes, and they're amazing. Tyler was scared when we went to your neighborhood. Because <laughs> Tyler's <laughs> white. <laughs> All right, guys. So what you, who's opening this I door? Cole Parsley wheeled my gun. Are we willing to check out You're the rooms out on the guy. floor, or are we just You're dangerous. How does Tommy before? See that oh, weapon? shit. Are we willing cool to, to double check out the rooms on the floor, you. or are we wanting to just go on in there? Okay. I kind of want to just look in that one. At least look in there real quick. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I won't. Did you change this? 7.30 to 3. As well, 7.30 to 3. See what's in there first. Yeah. There might be like a, just a load of gold in the orc. You're going to have a gold in the could be. Maybe they yeah, just but fold them all in there. That's all we need, dude. Yeah. Okay. I think I've seen it's like a big garbage stuff. pile. <laughs> <laughs> sure, a all right. So, we so what's the there. plan? Um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, take the point to open this door. Okay. Quietly. How's the, the breaching protocol? I know Leo said he's second. I will, if he's just going there to look, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I yeah. usually go in second or third with an acid splash or a fire bolt ready. Okay. I look at you like we're not we're no, you move up and you you grab the <laughs> the ring on the door and you give it a turn and you push the door open and you look in. Now give me a perception check. Uh, it's not bad. Not too bad. I think that it only makes like a fifteen. What do your paladin eyes <clears throat> see? Uh, I'm double checking to make sure. Justice. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I'm so accustomed to using it on my computer. Head. He's like the golden oh, yellow that's version of Batman. Okay. Uh, you look into this room and you see, looking in, it's a four by four room. You're looking in, there's a door on the wall to the right. Uh, stretched across the room, though, you see that there's a maybe like two feet tall, uh, thin. Looks like steel cable, like real thin steel Boy, cable. I really like these. Uh, stretching from corner to corner. Okay. So you would have to you you would have to navigate the steel cable to get to the other door, and then dangling from each end. So in each corner where that steel mm -hmm. cable touches, it looks like there's a small like tin can hanging from the wire. Okay, so inside this room <laughs> is a really <laughs> obvious alarm trap. Okay, do we want to use the trap as a trap? For the orcs? I, I'd still rather just get to the next door and look in. Okay. So we'll, we'll, I don't want to set up the trap like, oh, cool, the orc army was practicing and killing. Practicing their drills on the other side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. All um, 10,000 of them. So if I may, I will navigate that trap. Be, uh, yes. You want to go under or over? How? how it's low? about two feet tall. Yeah, just from two feet, feet from tall. the ground. Oh, well, then I'd, I'd definitely go over because I'm kind of tall. Yeah. Why don't you give me a real, real easy dexterity check just to make sure you don't fucking... Don't worry, I'm going to fuck Okay. Wow. Okay. You you I step mean, over. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a thin cable stretched across the room two feet tall, so you step over it easily. Like, maybe you go to one of the corners so you can keep a hand on the wall for just a little more stability. You look like what? And then you move up to the other yeah, door. My walking cane in one hand, and my hand on the wall. Yeah. yeah. You move Never up to the other door. So delicately. Uh, do you just open the door like you did before? Do you want to try and open it stealthily? You want to try and throw it open? I want to look at it real closely to make sure it's not trapped. Okay, give me a perception check. Um, so that's nineteen. Oh, you you give a good look, kind of. You check the uh, the turn. You check the hinges, and you don't see any signs of trapping or anything funky beyond this just being a normal door. Okay. Um, can I listen to it real quick? Uh, you put your ear up to it, and then you roll me a perception check. Uh, that one's only a nine. Um, you can hear some kind of sound coming from the other side of the door. There's something in the other room, but you can't you can't figure out what the fuck it is. Okay, I'll just kind of whisper that to Leo. 
something in here. Don't know what it is. Uh, Do you want me to try? I, would, I would definitely repeat that to everybody else. Um, Do you want me to try and crack all the motion <laughs> to try me to crack the door? You, you guys think we should look at I think we should look at this. Yeah. Is it I, I'm good. like a big <laughs> thing or it like a small yeah. thing? I don't know. So I'll uh, um, try and break quietly. Let me stop. You grab it, and your gauntleted hand is just like a clunk. And then you turn, and you slowly push the door open, but the hinges are just fucking... It's... And you're like, fuck me. I'll just go ahead and, and whatever. push it open. Okay, you... <laughs> and it seems that uh, this 4x4 four four room, door on the left, door straight ahead, uh, the goblins that have sleeping pallets and maybe a small brazier, uh, maybe a little pot setting over it. Some of them were sleeping. The goblins in this room, you wake up and they hop up and they just start screeching out in goblin. And you see uh, one of them, because you're looking at this room, door to the left, door straight ahead. Well, they screech out. He's not. You're two rooms back. Oh. Why am I two rooms back? Because he was sneaking ahead on his own. I don't know. And you didn't, you didn't tell me that you went with him, so... I, I didn't, but I just assumed we were going to move at some point. Or, if, how loud are they screeching? <laughs> oh, I, I would help if I'm looking at the character. Well, yeah. You know, they're probably yelling loud enough from two rooms back. Give me a perception check. I'm only a, a, a room away, correct? Yeah. yeah, you're you're like half in the other room. Do you speak Goblin? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Nate, give me a perception check. If possible, I want to move to that other door. To the door he's at. Are you worrying about the trap? No. I mean, I'll try to go over it nicely, but I don't All right, give me Give me a, a dexterity check. Uh, a dex... At 20. Uh, no <laughs> you just easily just like leap over it. Can I attempt to just go ahead and spiritual weapon and start killing them? Let's wait for Nathan. A twelve? Yeah. I'll give it. Yeah. You you're you would have been focusing on what's going on. And so you, uh Leo and Feverig you hear these goblins start yelling. A couple of them start yelling like, intruders! Intruders! And then you hear one of them yell, I'm gonna get the pet! Oh, and of course, yeah. you don't know that they're saying any of this, but you see, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna roll a dice. Mm -hmm. yeah, just let me know when I get up to the door. I'm definitely not running. <laughs> you see seven goblins in here, and one of them is running towards the door on the left. Okay. If I could try to get the edge on the spiritual weapon. I'll let you take one action. Okay. And then we're going to go to initiative. And that's when Leo's going to... Leo, your action is running through this room and leaping over the cable. So we're going to presume that when initiative starts, the you guys are all in the, the room, the long right. room where you fought all the monsters. Uh, Parnell, you're going to be in the doorway. And Alex, you're going to be right behind him. Let me double check one thing. That means I need to uh, 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 open a fucking spreadsheet. Because it's great for tracking initiative. Oh, there's people talking. Alright, one of us is hitting the table. And it's making... That's probably me, sorry. Yeah, it's making a weird thumping noise. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm trying to double check this feature that I'm trying to get confused with my cleric, I think. Tell me what you're trying to do. I want to probably spiritual weapon him. Okay. You cast spiritual weapon. 
And it's a bonus action spell, and with that, you get to make one attack with it. Yes. Which I hope will be enough to kill. And it's kill. a magical weapon attack, and I don't know what level you're casting it, but I think the base is like 1d8. Yeah, unfortunately, I can only cast it at level 2. Okay, so is that is it a level 2 spell? Base. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, do your, your magic attack. Uh, that's going to be 15 to hit. I am positive that's going to hit. The Macintosh. The Macintosh. <clears throat> yeah, that's a hit. The Macintosh. You said a 15? Yes. Yeah, that's a hit. And it is going to do 10 damage. <clears throat> you. What is your spiritual weapon? Uh, I think right now it's also a sword. Okay, long sword. Yeah. So you you grab your holy symbol, you say the incantation, and this spiritual, glowing, <coughs> vapory kind of long sword appears next to this goblin, just whoosh, and just like cuts it down, and the goblin drops dead. There's six goblins in the room, and now we're going into initiative. So, let me move this out of the way. <laughs> and then we got <laughs> Goblin. Do we need to let me the beats will be Oh, I will let her know. I have so advantage on initiative and I still roll shit. Stop it. Cut it up. That was my that was my <laughs> big reveal for this last level was advantage on initiative. <laughs> so worth it. <laughs> I saw that potion of wine. Let me do it! <laughs> if I can get close to Joe, maybe I'll try it. Well, go on, Stuart! <laughs> I'm just down at the dime. I'll do as much fun as you want there. Oh, no. I'll close the door for you. If you like. Well, if you want to do it yourself, <laughs> then go on huh? and do it! I'm do not there yet. Two minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll get the initiative time. scores and then we'll take our first break. <laughs> okay. That'll give me a second to gather a few more numbers. And ten. Zormetheus. Zormetheus is a seven. Asverth. Twelve. Don't worry. Fevrig. No one's initiative will be lower than mine. Get out of the way. Leo. 20. <laughs> Thormund. Is that your character's name? Thavik. Thavik. And then they showed his ID. Were you a Thormund at one point? I was not a Thormund. I think you... So why did he not coming home? home? Okay. <laughs> was that and his first what was your scare? Oh, what was your score again? 14. And then Kaz, not Kazmos. It is Kazmos. Kazmos. Three. Wow, that's low. Well, we well, already on. killed one, so you're already ahead of the game, so don't worry about it. All right, friends. I rolled one. Uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in with us. Twitch people, we'll be back in just a few minutes. We're going to take a little break. YouTube people, we'll catch you in a couple days. Uh, make sure to follow us here on Twitch. Is it follow on Twitch? That's the base. Yeah. yeah. Follow us here. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Fucking Facebook. We got a Tumblr, I think. Do all the things. Do all the fucking things. Peace, bitches. <clears throat> Cause moo, I'm a cow.